Okay, good day. This is Jim Vitale from Columbia Gorge Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital 1ET121. Today we're going to finish up Chapter 2 with a quick discussion on some uh, some codes out there and parity. Okay, the, the first code that we are going to talk about is BCD, Binary Coded Decimal. This is actually a pretty... Uh, pretty neat code. Um, it's a four-bit code used to represent 0 to 9. Four bits for 0. Whoops. <laughs> I'm already thinking in binary. 0 to 9. Okay, so how do you represent 0 using four bits? 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. How do you represent 9 using four bits? Through that. And all those ones in between. So you know it's four bits for each number. What you do is just add, uh, just string them right next to each other. So the number 5959, five, what you do is you do a four-bit code for five, then do a four-bit code for nine. So it's 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. The key thing is knowing that you're using BCD. You know in that you, got, you can parse that up. So the first four bits, that's my first number. Next four bits, that's my next number. Next four bits, the next that's the next number. So on and so forth. So there is no code for 10. It's just how do you represent 10? It's one zero. Four bit representation of one. Four bit representation of zero. Pretty cool, huh? That's really easy to use. Um, next one is gray code. Gray code? Um, eliminates, well, it's similar to binary, except only one digit can change at a time. Um, if you know the transition is only one digit at a time between successive numbers, it can eliminate the errors of possibly misrepresenting binary numbers. You know, so all of a, all of a sudden you, you get like this encoder position that goes from four to all of a sudden, you know it's going to be five. You know only one position is going to change. That all of a sudden two positions change. You know that there's been an error in the encoder. So it's just single digit change, eliminating the possibility of errors. Um, ASCII. Everyone knows ASCII. Used to represent all the alphanumeric uh, representations on a keyboard. 128 characters with a 7-bit code. Actually, it's 8s. It's 8 bits because the because the most significant bit is always 0. So any character, and plus a couple of hidden characters on a keyboard, can be represented um, using these 8 bits ASCII. So let's do C. C is represented by the hex. 4, 3, but we know that's a 4-bit representation, so it's 0, 1, 0, 0, and 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1, and the number G, or number G, geez, letter G is the hex representation of 4, 7, so what's 4, 0, 1, 0, 0, what's 7? Zero, one, one, one. So the next time someone asks you uh, what college do you go to, I go to hex 43474343 or the binary. Well, you can figure it out. That's CGCC. Okay. So ASCII is just a code used to represent alphanumeric characters. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is parity. So parity. Okay, remember, I mean, look at this string right here. How do you know you got it right? You know, what happened if you did uh, that? You, like, I can't remember what they were before. Let's say that one was a 1, or was a 0, and that one was a 0, but I accidentally put that 1 in there. Um, how do I know that I messed that up? Okay, there's this thing called parity. It's a means of error checking. Whereby, um, let's say you have even parity. Even parity means there's this extra bit just hanging out at the end. 
that is a zero or a one that's added to this guy. So when all these bits are added up, and if this is even, it's going to be a zero. It makes it makes it even. And if if these all these numbers added up together is odd, it's going to be a one to make it even. That's even parity. Okay. So let's do. Uh, that's a really complicated example. Let's use this example. So here's our example and our sum: one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. That's odd. You need to add your parity bit of one, so it's even. But now, in the process of uh, of writing this down or entering it, or you know, there's some uh, some computer system that's that's recording this data. You write the, the computer somehow records one zero one. Notice the error one zero one one one, and it still sends that parity of bit of one. Because ordinarily we respect, uh, expect a sum of five, so you get sum of six plus our parity of one. That's not even. That's odd. That's wrong. Okay, so it's just means of means of error checking. Okay, so we are moving on to chapter three.